Hello, just wanted to help you know how to use the tooling foil for the texture project. So you have your practice foil, it's small, it's only two inches by two inches, but you should try out some of your textures on there so you can decide where your window will be cut. So I recommend having a mechanical pencil with the lead pushed in <clears throat> or another Pencil that's a little bit pointy is good too. I especially like that plastic tip. You want to avoid metal tips like ballpoint pens because the metal can rip your metal foil. And it's good to have a flat pencil, something flatter than that maybe. Here's a really flat one. That one's good too. And something soft to work on like a notebook or somebody in class today mentioned they're going to use their mouse pad. Mouse pad that has like some squish to it. I have this scrap piece of rubber that I like to use too. So you want to try some of your textures from your project. Maybe a few shapes. Maybe you want to try a circle. Maybe a few lines. So those are just lightly put in there so I know where they go. And I have to decide, do I want them to pop out or do I want them to sink in? So right here, I'm going to decide this circle is going to pop out. So I want to flip it over. And then with my flat pencil, I'm going to almost like I'm coloring it in the positive space of this circle, this oval. So it's starting to pop out. You can see it when you get the angle there. But I can make it pop out more than that. So I'm pushing with this one. And this is where you want to define the edges of the shape too. I'm taking my pointy pencil and I'm going around the edges so it looks like the oval shape that I want it to look like. And then you can see it's really starting to pop out now. And I can even go back around and redefine the edges on this side, on the front. If I have empty space around it, I would want to smooth that down with my flat pencil. You can even use the end of your coloring pencil to smooth out large open areas, whether they're positive or negative space. Okay, how about some lines? If you have some lines, maybe you want your line to sink in. So I push it down firmly with my pointy tool. And with this, it's almost like I'm pinching that line so that it's a nice defined line. If I wanted to stay a skinny line to match the textures on my paper, then you're going to want to keep it skinny on this side too. And you'll probably have to go back and forth maybe three or four times. And that's okay. Be patient with the foil. If you try to push it too fast, you're going to get crinkles and, and marks where you don't want them. So now I'm starting to get some defined sinking in line here. Well, what if I want my line to pop out? Then I should do it from the back. Just kind of do the opposite again. So you have to decide if you want things to pop out or sink in. Then if you want it to pop out, press it from the back. If you want it to sink in, press it from the front. And you're going to have to go back and forth a few times. Don't rush the foil. I think I'm rushing it a little bit because I'm doing this demonstration video. But it will take some time to kind of go back and forth and define your edges. So I have one that's sinking in and I have a line that's popping out, and I have this shape popping out. But you'll want to fill your paper, your whole practice foil with textures. If you have any empty space, smooth those down flat. Oh, that's not the one I want to use. Smooth it down flat. Make sure all your foil gets changed. All of it gets changed. But I only did a little bit. Hopefully you'll do more. And I would love to see your practice foil before you go on to your big final foil. All right. Oh, one more thing. If you make a mistake and you want to flatten it down, 
then you want to work on a tabletop surface, a flat surface, and you can use, if it's something small, something flat and wooden, to flatten it down. Let's say I want to flatten down this line. Or you can use the side of a plastic pen or pencil, and you can flatten things down. Not 100% flatten it down. I can still see it a little bit. But if you need to fix something, that's how you can sort of erase your foil. All right. Have fun creating.